We present Mono and PHM, Dynamic Head Reconstruction from Monocular Videos. Given a commodity RGB video, we aim to achieve high-fidelity 3D head tracking using learned priors of a neural parametric head model. Our photometric tracking approach builds on SDF-based inverse rendering and optimizes for latent geometry, appearance, and expression parameters. The model prior allows for accurate geometry and expression reconstruction in under-constrained scenarios. Unseen geometry is plausibly reconstructed. Furthermore, the disentangled nature of our parametric spaces allow for cross reenactments that realistically adopt to the target identity's facial features. Key to our tracking approach is an underlying neural parametric model. Given a point in post space, we backward warp it into canonical space using a neural deformation field. In canonical space, we represent geometry as an SDF. Appearance is modeled as a texture field that is conditioned on geometry features. This enables the semantics of the geometry to inform the location of colors, for instance, where the color of the lips should appear. Finally, our SDF and texture fields rely on face anchor points that play an important role during tracking by offering a set of explicit control points. Next, we show interpolations in the learned latent geometry representation. When interpolating the appearance, the color output faithfully adopts to the current geometry. Here, we show joint interpolation of geometry and appearance codes. Interpolating between expression codes results in plausible face movement. To build our photometric tracking, we need a rendering formulation for mono and PHM. Rays in post space are backward warped into canonical space. Our rendering builds on the NUS formulation to transfer predicted SDF values into rendering densities. We include spherical harmonic shading to account for lining-dependent effects before computing the photometric loss. Additionally, the rendering densities can be used for a silhouette loss. We use the predicted canonical anchors to formulate a landmark loss for increased robustness. Using iterative root finding, we establish corresponding anchors in post space, which are finally projected onto the image plane. We compare tracking performance on commodity monocular RGB video, as shown on the left. We show our reconstructed geometry and an overlay in image space. Furthermore, we oblate several of our design choices. In particular, the use of spherical harmonics and volume rendering are important. Without the landmark loss, some expressions are completely missed. Finally, we present two more examples of expression transfer. On the left, we see the input video and track geometry. On the right, we show the reenactment results on different identities. Thank you for watching.